so I decided to embark on a two-day trip to Uchon, located in the Western Cape province of South Africa. I plan to visit the well talked about Kango Cave and Rustin Vred Waterfall. Left Cape Town on the N1 road, drove past the beautiful Huguenot Tunnel, where right after you pass the tunnel, you'll meet the toll gates. And there I paid 44 Rand 50 cents. Now that is a total equivalent of 1,200 Rand. So I've just stopped at a. Uh... I just stopped at a restaurant called Montague. Or well, you can see here. Yes, I'll be having something to eat real quick here. And all the way from here, I will continue my trip. I continued my drive and I met an, an unexpected beauty, Fort Sydney. It is so beautiful you think it's something out of the movies. So Fort Sydney, located in the small town of Montagu, uh, was built by the British as fortification spots meant to prevent the movement of Boers commandos. Glamping. Um, I got here yesterday. It's very beautiful view. I'll, I'm sure I'll show you guys what the views look like. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm currently here, uh, gonna be spending two nights here. I've just spent my first night. I paid a total of 1,300 um, Rand, and that comes to a total of 35,000 Rand. Um, now that's for two nights, and it's a good space for, it's a good space for two people, because they've got two single beds. Um, so, I mean, being shared between two people, you can imagine what that turns comes up to. That's like six fifty per person, and that's a two nights. So, not a bad price actually. Um, really, not 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 a bad price. I'm still gonna go to Kango Camp. The next morning, I drove to Kango Cave. If you get offered two types of tools, heritage and adventure tool, uh, one of them you require the heritage tool you're required to pay 170 year end for 60 minutes, and the adventure tool you pay 240 for 90 minutes, as it is a more detailed tour through the cave. Known for its beautiful and unbelievable rock formations, the caves were formed millions of years ago, discovered by a local farmer, Jacob van Zyl, in 1780. It was inhabited thousands of years ago by the Khoi and San people, who left marks of their existence and habitation of the cave. Sadly, much of these have been damaged through the ages.
It stretches as far as far over 5 kilometers and more of the cave is still yet to be discovered. Thank you. 